welcome back to Consultants Corner. I'm Rebecca Britzi. This is my corner. I am a consultant and I'm a consultant who believes quite strongly in the power of networking. Yes, even during social isolation, we can network virtually. And I'll talk more about that in a future video, probably the next video. For now, I'd like to do more of an intro video to networking because I can tell you right now that over the course of time on this channel, you will hear me talk a lot about networking. Let's start with the basics. Why do I find networking so important? What difference does networking make to your business life. There is always value in knowing and being known. So knowing people and being known by people. And the point is not to simply go out there and make sure a lot of people know your name and sort of pass out business cards like it's a party. The point is to create relationships, to expand your network, but to be an active participant in that network. This isn't about the number of people you can touch or speak to, or the number of people to whom you give a flyer or a business card. This is about the number of people whom you could call up and they'd answer the phone and say, hey, Rebecca, good to hear from you. They know who you are. They're used to talking to you. You are a part of their community in one way or another. So it's always about building relationships of value. Think of a network in a visual sense. If you imagine a network of different nodes and connections going between those nodes, you want to be a node. You want a lot of connections coming into you and going out from you. You want to have a lot of those lines that go out to a whole bunch of other nodes. Those lines are only formed when there is a continuous back and forth of information. I know that doesn't mean that you're talking to 300 people every single day, but it does mean that you're solidifying a relationship even if you don't speak that frequently. You're still providing value. You're still being a good contact. You're still somebody who's pleasant to be around. All of those things that make you part of a network. But why? Let's address some essentials of what value you get out of building a network. Well, the first and obvious one is clients. The more you network, the more people you meet, the more likely you are to encounter your next client. It gives you an opportunity to meet all these people in those crowds. There is somebody who needs your services. And as long as you are expressing what you do well, as long as you are providing value, and as long as you are somebody who is pleasant to be around, you are capturing that audience. You are giving yourself the opportunity to find and convert those next clients. But it is definitely not just about clients. And in fact, when I network, I never start with that idea. I never think my next client is in this room. It is also about finding those sources of referrals, finding those business partners, finding those gauge openers, whatever terminology you want to use to think of the people who are going to introduce you to your next client. These are other people who work with your clients, who know your clients, through friendship or service or community or connection. They get to know you, they get to like and trust you. So when they present your name to your next client, there's an automatic point of trust. However, networking is not exclusively about meeting your next client, whether directly or through a third party. Networking is also about being in the know, knowing what are the hot topics, knowing what are people's concerns, knowing what people like to talk about, knowing what the next trend is going to be, knowing what the general business and networking atmosphere is like. Know what's on people's minds. Know what's worrying people. Know what people are enthusiastic about. Understand what is happening in your business community, your geographic community, however you define the communities in which you are participating. The more you know, the more you can participate, but also the more information you're gathering, the more you know about a network is the more you know about another network because what concerns somebody over here is going to be concerning somebody over there as well. It's expanding your understanding of human behavior and human concerns. It also allows you to be a connector. So as much as you might be thinking about, is my next client in the room or is my next referral source in the room? Everybody else, of course, wants that as well. You can really insert yourself in a valuable way in a relationship by connecting people in a valuable way. Bringing together people who could either work together through a client a service provider relationship, through a collaboration, through just getting to know one another. Maybe they work with a similar audience. Do you know somebody who has a podcast? Introduce them to potential interview subjects. Do you know an event photographer? Introduce them to a wedding planner and so on and so forth. Be the connector, bring people together. Sometimes it's just because you've met these two or three people and you think, you know what? These people will get along. Let's all get together and talk about work or life or whatever that point of connection is. Be the connector, be the person of value who's 
putting people across the table from one another or in the same conversation area, it can be Zoom, and helping other people expand their network as well. It also means that you don't remain isolated. So the more lines are coming into your node, if some of those lines are severed, you have plenty of others and it's easier to replace those lines. You're building a sense of security and stability in your business by being that person who is known and does know. As I say, you'll hear me talk a lot about networking on this channel. There will be a playlist dedicated specifically to networking. It's something I do a lot. It's something I use a lot to grow my business. And so it's a topic that comes up very often. When you see my course on how to be a successful freelance consultant, there's a whole section dedicated to networking. And really when you start your business, I present that as a foundation for getting started. And yes, as I say, even now that we are sheltered in place, the reopenings are going to happen gradually Gradually, so we don't really know when it's going to be okay to be out there at large events or organizing a whole bunch of lunch meetings. But guess what? Even once that happens, there's still also value in connecting with people virtually. It might allow you to bring people from disparate areas together, disparate geographic areas. Sometimes it just makes organizing easier because you don't have to drive around town even if you're within the same city. So subscribe to this channel so you get notified of the next video in which I will talk about some of the practices for networking while we are sheltered in place. Practices that will serve you well now, but that you can continue to implement even afterwards when we are back to normal commingling. Do you have homework for today? Of course you have homework for today, but it's homework light. I just want you to think back to the emphasis you've put on networking so far and start to ask yourself why or why not. If you haven't been networking, why not? Why do you not think it's a value? And if you have been networking, what sort of emphasis have you put on that? Over time and through the course of these videos, we will build out your whole networking plan, but that's a good starting point to examine your approach to networking. And I will see you, of course, at the next video.